It was an easy out, and this fugitive took it. Peoria police say the lock on their transport van wasn't installed, leading to a frantic chase near Bradley last night. Good Thursday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Janice Rebholtz. Thanks for joining us. Police say their suspect got away last night, jumping out of the moving van. People in the area are still trying to wrap their head around what happened literally in their front yard. Madison Porter went to the neighborhood to hear their stories. And Madison, what did they see and what did they hear last night during the chaos? Tyler and Janice, they say that the screens in the police lights that filled the streets caught their attention immediately. And that's when they knew that something was not right. According to Peoria Police, 32-year-old Daniel Moody was on his way to the county jail for investigation of aggravated domestic battery when he was able to jump out of the transport van. This is video from a nearby house where the owner says it was a little bit frightening watching all of this play out. Here are the officers running right across his front lawn. And then next video, here's someone running at full sprint along the street. It's not clear who is who in that video, but it certainly offers some insight into this urgent situation. It happened around 8.30 last night near the corner of Cooper and Main Street, just blocks away from Bradley University's campus. A group of students say they were in their house when they heard screaming and police yelling, get down, get down. Those students then watched Moody's recapture from their front window. Just the fact that it was <laughs> right here on the front steps gives me the shakes just a little bit. Yeah. But they had it all under control and we talked to some of the officers afterwards and they were super nice about it and really tried to make us feel as comfortable as they could. According to police, Moody was initially initially cuffed behind his back, but he moved his cuff to the front while in the van. The officers knew this, but because he was combative, they tell us he, they decided to leave him. Moody was then able to unlock op and open two security doors on the van and jump out while the van was moving. The police say the lock device has now been installed and the other transport vans were checked to avoid something like this in the future. That's all we've heard from police about this very unusual incident.